So what is up guys, Nick here, helping you to master your technology. In this episode, we're gonna take a look at 10 reasons why the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra is a better phone than the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Now, I use both of these phones, I have SIM cards in both of them, and so I don't really have any reason to be you know, biased towards the other. So I'm gonna make a video why the iPhone 14 Pro Max is better than the S23 Ultra soon, so stay tuned for that. But since the S23 Ultra is the newest, let's go ahead and talk about the reasons why it takes down the latest Apple device. The first one is gonna be the display experience, hands down, is just better than that of the iPhone 14 Pro Max. There's just no denying it. This display is not only just as smooth with the same type of adaptive refresh rate, it has a bigger panel. It also has more customization to that panel to get it exactly how you want it to look. In addition to that, it's just as smooth. And also, you know, this phone, while it's not as bright, technically speaking, because Samsung includes the extra brightness mode, you can actually use the high brightness mode all the time whenever you want. Versus the iPhone, you gotta wait till you get in sunlight. So if you need that extra brightness, it needs to be triggered by that, you know, by a light source. Whereas with this one, they'll let you take advantage of it if you wanna drain your battery all day long. But honestly, when you go in the store and you just take a look at both these phones, the Samsung phone just pops. It's just more vivid and you can tweak it even more so to get it back to a more natural look if you want. So what I like about it is that not only is it more vibrant, but if you don't like that oversaturation or that vibrancy, which it doesn't really have too much oversaturation these days, you can still go to screen mode, but a natural here. And then you can go over here to icon for shield, turn that on. Let's put on adaptive because that's for night mode. And you can even make it even less, more toned down with enhanced comfort. Now look at the display. Now it's more toned down. So you have the abilities to make this display look like whatever you want it to look like. Super bright, you want that, they got it. You want it to be more toned down, you want it more natural, you got that. You want it to be that super vivid Samsung look, just go to display, put it in vivid. So it's really customizable and it's super sharp. So all the way to the bank, I gotta give this one the Samsung. They're easily beating Apple's device here when it comes to the display. The next one is a bigger battery. Now, the battery I also find to be just a little bit better, um, especially if you tweak the performance profiles. You also can get similar battery life if you put the 14 Pro Max in low power mode. But finally, Samsung has a battery that can compete with the iPhone. Because even though Apple usually puts smaller batteries, they simply get better battery life due to efficiency. But Samsung really went to town here on the efficiency and I'm getting easily a full day of battery life and even close to two days you can see right there. One hour and one day and 18 hours is their recommended of how long it should last. This phone has 59% battery. I probably haven't charged it in well over 18 hours. So the battery life on here is stellar on the Samsung Galaxy. S23 Ultra, and I think a little bit better in my experience than the iPhone 14 Pro Max, especially when I lower the profiles. So that's number two. The third one is the camera zooming ability. So yeah, the cameras on here, got a little hair right there. The cameras on here are just really incredible. So if I hit the camera right here, I take a photo, it's 10X optical. So you can zoom all the way up to that and while still retaining the sharpness of the camera. Now also, I can go ahead and zoom in all the way up to 100 times. So it just absolutely destroys the iPhone when it comes to its ability to zoom. And when is that important? Well, are you going out to an event, concert, something like that, maybe any type of event? Are you gonna go out in the nature? Are you going out you know, with the family? You wanna see something from far away, take a photo? You can do that with the Galaxy S23 Ultra. You can't do that quite as far with the iPhone. Yes, you can go 3x, which is enough zoom for some people, 15 is relatively far, but it gets really blurry at that length, and Samsung's 10x optical is just really good. So I would definitely say for zooming, it just destroys the iPhone. Now the next one is higher quality 8K video. So the ability to go 8K on here at 30 is pretty amazing. Also, if you go to more, and you go to the pro video section, you can also put this back in the 8K24 if you wanna get a little bit more cinematic with it. 
you got that option as well. I mean, look at all the video options. As a matter of fact, I'm actually recording this video on a Samsung Galaxy S23. So let me know your thoughts in the pro video mode. Let me know your thoughts on how this thing is performing so far. I'm doing this video in UHD 60. So let me know your thoughts on that. The next one is that the Samsung charges faster than the iPhone 14 Pro Max. So the 14 Pro Max is gonna charge at around, you know, like a 15 watt, 25 watt charging speed. The Samsung can go up to 45 watts of charging. So much faster charging on the Samsung device here. So definitely it's better. That's another way that it's better. The next one is that the actual usage of this phone is just better for multitasking. And then when you have the S Pen on top of that, you have this creativity section, the multitasking, the Samsung Dex just seals the deal. So if we go over here, go to split screen, and then we go to Play Store, you'll see that we do have just a lot of multitasking you could do. The S Pen makes it easier to navigate this stuff when the screen gets smaller throughout this multitasking. Pop view is a, a stellar feature. And where did I put my edge panels? Oh, they're over here. Then you got the edge panels. You can bring these, you know, applications in wherever. They come in super clutch sometimes, like when you want to go ahead and do a few things, drop that app over there. I mean, if this is that type of feature that it's better to have it and not use it than to not have it. And when you need it, you don't have it. <laughs> kind of like on the iPhone. There's so many times when I'm like, man, I wish I just had a split screen at this moment. Doesn't mean you need it all the time. It's not something most people are gonna use daily, but if you do need it, it's cool that it's there. Also, if you're not someone that has a laptop or home or you don't really need one or care about having a separate computer, a smartphone does enough for you, but you still kinda want, maybe a, you still have a leftover monitor or something, or maybe you just wanna use your phone for everything, Samsung DeX is crucial to giving you that experience. So, I mean, you can have a full computer experience straight from your phone. This is incredible and it can minimize your life down where you only gotta ha manage one device, your phone, and then just kind of plug it in and use it as a computer. That is sealing the deal here for me, really making this, make the iPhone feel like it's just not very super feature packed by comparison to the Samsung device, although it is, not when you compare it to a Galaxy S23 Ultra. Now the next one is, I think it's pretty darn impressive that Samsung has made a phone, and while we've seen this design before, it's like totally completely redesigned from the inside, not really the outside, but I think it's impressive how, you know, Apple keeps making bigger camera bumps and heavier phones, but Samsung is making a bigger phone with a bigger battery that's still lighter than the iPhone, so while, you know, some people might still like the flatter edges, the curved design, which Samsung has in the S23 Plus though. When it comes to these two right here, I think it's pretty impressive how this one is just lighter. I mean, look at the size difference, not by a much, but still having a phone that's bigger and lighter, it's just pretty impressive with a bigger battery. That's, that's impressive design, if you ask me. And the next one is that this phone right here has USB-C 3.2. So this is a more universal standard. We're waiting for Apple to go to this on an iPhone. We have it on iPads. We have it on, you know, the MacBooks. I actually charge my iPad with my Samsung charger and my Samsung phone. So like, can we get USB-C already over there? So that's, that's another benefit of this phone. The next one is that you have exclusive color options and more color options for the Samsung. Apple is throwing around four, so you know base colors is pretty similar, but when you go to those exclusive color options, Samsung takes the win once again. And then you do have Wi-Fi 6E and a couple more, you know, improved, you know, standards for connectivity. The iPhone is up there. Most people don't have a Wi-Fi 6E router yet, but you're just a little bit ahead and just a little bit of everything on the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. So it's gonna be a little bit hard for me to make a video how the iPhone is better than this phone. We're gonna go ahead and try to do that in the next episode. So these were 10 ways that I've been finding my Galaxy S23 Ultra to be a better smartphone than the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Now again, these I use both of these, I have SIMs in both of them. So, you know, I love both of them. So stay tuned for why the iPhone 14 Pro Max is the better phone, but I gotta say, man, Samsung has really knocked this one out of the park and it's super enjoyable to use. If you get it with a trade-in and knock off some of the price off the value, 
it's really a, a really a worth it phone to pick up. You know, it really is that good. I'm not trying to just, you know, overpraise it. It's just really that good. And if you don't like, you know, this squared body, I can really see how some people will not like the shape of this phone. The Samsung S23 Plus and S23, which I'm filming this video on, are also stellar options if you're more into a smaller, more ergonomic device. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and stay tuned for 10 ways the iPhone 14 Pro Max takes down the S23 Ultra, which for some people it doesn't, but we're going to find out some ways that it does in the next episode. I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Nick here. Be sure to be well and peace.